Hello everyone and welcome back to the 3 printer vlog. This is episode I think 13 here and today we have to uh, sand, we're gonna back in the shop here. I'm gonna sand this uh, piece down. It's, I think it's about a, about a millimeter or half millimeter too long, which is causing some issues with the uh, top gantry plate here. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down for a brand new sanding machine. Got this at a hard freight for about 60 bucks. Um, had to machine the set screw and kind of uh, unscrew it a bit so hopefully we won't have too much difficulty doing this here. Fingers crossed. Safety goggles on. So we need about $4.99. Yeah it's uh, just short of it. If we're short we're okay. We got to uh, sand down these top bits here. Get my down my hearing protection. Not We'll kill my lens cap and get a bunch of dust in it. Measure it up. See where we're at with these sides here now. Should be all right with this. It is within tolerance. I think it might be a little bit shorter, but short is okay because I can always gap it a little bit. You can shim it with something. Except for this thing being really loose because the stupid set screw is like really, uh, it's not lined up, aligned properly. It's on a slant, so. If I were to tighten it down the way, it'd be at like an angle, weird angle like this, which I guess would be okay, but yeah. All right, now, moment we've been waiting for, might as well get this knocked out while we're here. I'm gonna go ahead and get the bed taken care of and machined. So, ooh, ooh. <laughs> let's get to that. I like when that ah, stupid threads got caught in, didn't they? I can walk it out manually, I guess. All right, there we go. Kind of screwed up on this one. Ran it a little bit. Uh, too deep. I think I'll be able to account for this one. I mean, it's not really gonna account for too much in structural and tech or integrity issues. So I think uh, I think we're good to go. It was a good uh, productive night here at the gr or at the shop slash office here. Really do like our results. Um, of course, this isn't perfect machinery equipment, so I'm not expecting miracles here. But I think we'll uh, I think we'll be able to get by with this. So let's go ahead and head back on over to the studio where we have our uh, 3D print frame and let's go ahead and finish assembling that. Alrighty folks, so we're back from the shop here. We got ourselves this particular, our cross beam sanded and our holes machined. So now what we have to do is we have to go ahead and get everything reattached to the printer and get our bed taken care of here because everything should in theory be ready to go, fingers crossed. So here is our frame as we left it here last time. It is pretty much finished up here. The one thing I do have to do is I have to uh, take care of this here gantry. I think this piece needs to be flipped upside down. And I think there's like a nut missing out of here so I need to get that taken care of anyway. <laughs> So now what I have to do here is I just have to measure up each uh, individual side. Okay, so that is at 579. We're at about 578.5, so we're within spec of 0.5 millimeter. Now we need to disassemble this uh, gantry piece here. Okay, so this side here is our problem child here. Let's get this 
get the plate out of the way for now so don't dirty it up. Tight fit, okay. Yeah, for some dumb reason this flipping square bolt fell out. It might be over here in this end. Yeah, this square lining up system is quite the pain. Okay, so I think I have like plenty of footage of me adjusting these stupid square nuts and putting it on here. Quite a tedious process indeed, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick jump cut. All right, and we're back. Now, I kid you not, folks, this, um, this piece, I literally got it in first try. Now let's attach our uh, top plate here. Let's go ahead and get down. Spray PTFE. Hmm. Uh, I feel like giving these a quick spray. Okay, so I got my uh, bearings reconstituted as best as I can. This particular gantry seems to be pretty. I got this down pat pretty good. All the wheels are moving properly. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and load this on to our frame, and let's go ahead and let's get this started. The wheel gantry is kind of just a tad bit too short. Not to worry though. Pretty easy fix. Just gotta make sure these uh, not these bolts are loosened. Try to get these tightened as tight as I can get so I can move these around so I'm gonna then I'm gonna attach the bottom bolts and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep switch or swapping these uh, bearings around on each corner until I get all four wheels or all eight wheels moving when I move them back and forth at a fluid rate went ahead and kind of paused the assembly here because I noticed a lot of these wheels are seizing up. So what I did was I created basically like a dummy load to test to see the smoothness of the uh, bearings. And this one's like real scratchy. It doesn't freely move that, well, these two are the only good ones that I've seen so far. And these are all my uh, rejects here that I have to basically redo. Some of them, the, uh, the actual lip and the bear, or the actual uh, seal in the bearing is kind of been crushed in. I've seen that on one at least so far. So I'm gonna have to replace those. Yeah, as you can see, there's a little 3D printed uh, washer in the middle, or uh, I guess a shim in this case, that's a little rough that just needs to be uh, just kind of shaved out a little bit with the X-Acto knife. Basically, I'm just going uh, bearing by bearing, trying to figure out which, um, or the condition of each of these here. Okay, now that we have our uh, X and Y gantries sorted out, let's go ahead and move on over to the bed. Okay, so we got our um, bar ready to rock, ready to roll. Slide everything into place. Can't get these lined up proper.
Alright folks, thanks for watching this 3D printer vlog here. Hope you all liked it. If you did, hit that like button. Maybe consider subscribing. Hey, check out some other previous videos here and hope to see you all soon.